the hip hop world today to be able to do what a lot of these executives did that taught somebody like Diddy, is that even possible today? Meaning, did social media fully eliminate that business model where the next generation of young talent are now protected? No, it's nobody protected yet. But that's okay. We're going to talk about Puff. All right, listen to this. It was a guy named Barry Gordy, and you know who Barry Gordy. Mm-hmm. Now, I went in the room with Barry Gordy, but everybody knew that Barry Gordy hits both sides of the fence, they always say. So Barry Gordy was the guy who had the Jackson 5, who eventually kind of Michael Jackson because Joe Jackson was a Jehovah's Witness, and they said, Michael, you come hang with us, you can get toys. They might got Michael some more than toys. Then there was Corsi Jones wow. with Michael. And you know exactly where I'm going with this. Next thing you know, Michael Jackson, allegedly, they said he stopped partying with younger boys. So where did Michael Jackson get it from? Hmm. And if you know, you wouldn't have a problem to say, you wouldn't have a problem to say, Barry, Barry wow. Gordy was touching on Michael Jackson. You wouldn't have a problem to say that Quincy Jones was touching on Michael Jackson. And you wouldn't have a problem to say that Michael Jackson was touching on the little boys. But with the problem come in at, and we start talking about the Clyde Davisons and the other people, and it goes down to Puffy, that's where the buck stops at. See, Puffy's a black ass, second price lamb. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> Puffy, Puffy does me, I think, to them. See, they ain't tripping. But if you don't stop the cycle, it's going to keep happening. If somebody needs to go visit Usher right now. Say, Usher, it's not too late for you. We know you hit a few other guys you brought on, but it's not too late for them either. But at some point, you got to stop the head or it's going to keep creating, going down. The shit goes down. But you guys don't want to fix that. Right? I mean, it, it's, it's, it's when you're breaking, I mean, you're going all the way back to, you, if you know. Ask it, okay. Now I'm going, okay. But because it's the facts, but this is the thing, right? It's right now. We're talking about the industry. When, when, when I was in business, a guy in the projects and send word and say that he have a brother or somebody have a son that can rap or sing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to drive my ass to the projects and sit on, and sit on that mid and get that artist aside and make a hit album out of it, right? But now what I'm basically saying is they got it so blocked in or locked, they're not giving some of the best kind of people the opportunity to be artists. Or they are going to have an artist that's 50 years old, 49, still putting them on the front line. Give these younger generations the opportunity the chance to grow and make some of themselves. But if they can kill off the death row and replace me with the other guys, that's why the industry that way. The industry, as long as we, long as we make each other better by competing with each other, competition, the industry will be better. Now that you have all these guys when women close. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. But once again, I'm not about gay bashing because I don't I'm not homophobic. But what we say in the industry, well, I, my belief is this. If you puffy and we friends, and if you mess with boys and girls that's your business, let me know because I might not want you to I'm not gonna want you to hit the blunt. Or drink out my glass, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But if you let me know, I said, shit, I'll give it to you when I finish. I'll give you the glass when, uh, you know, you can have the last sip. Mm-hmm. We just have people just have a problem because they don't want, they want to know what they're dealing with. And it's not fair to use power and money to make somebody do something they don't want to do. Yeah, there's a big difference That's between the there's there's a big difference between yeah. you, a person because. being gay and a young boys. That that's the problem, you know. And the young girls, like you know, stuff that was going on with R. Kelly, um, um, you know, and and what he went through. There's a there's a lawyer that's saying what happened to R. Kelly is about to happen or did he here soon? And it's just a matter of time before they get him. And he goes away. I can no longer remain in today's Democratic Party. Tulsi Gabbard says she is no longer a Democrat. A potential. 
Tulsi Gabbard VP. Where we are being told that we just have to comply and go along with whatever they say. American people uh, are smarter than this. However, we must remain vigilant to recognize their propaganda for what it is, pure lie. Unfortunately, we live in a time where free speech is under attack. Whatever they say goes, and we, we have to just follow. And the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor, you owe them an apology. <laughs> on a debate stage before I would look forward to doing that again. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.